G'day, it's Armin the Parman. I'm going to show you how to download and install Electrum Desktop Wallet for a Mac. First thing to do is go to electrum.org, click on download, and select the Apple executable, download it, and download the signature. You can uh, right click save, or you can right click directly from the link scroll down a bit and find Thomas V's public key and save that and close the browser next open terminal and go to the downloads directory And you can see there's three files in there. First thing to do is to import Thomas's public key into the Mac keyring. So type gpg dash dash import and then the file name of his key. And it says it's imported. Next thing to do is to verify the download. So you type gpg verify. First thing to put is the the ASC file and then the executable and enter. And it says good signature from and that's what you want to see and ignore the warning. So now using Thomas's key, uh, a signature has been created of the um, downloadable and we know that it's a genuine copy signed by Thomas so we can close this now and double click the link of the DMG file and drag this out close this and double click We don't want to auto connect to a public node, especially if you're running your own node. Uh, you can you don't have to do that, and your or if you were to do that, your addresses will be leaked to public servers, and you want to stay private. And if you've got a wallet that you've already leaked, you should start a new one and move your coins to a private wallet, and connect your Electrum to your own node. So assuming you've got your own node, when you run Electrum, you click this first. And we don't want to select server automatically. We want to put our own IP address here of the, uh, the node. So I've got a my node running on a Raspberry Pi. And the IP address is 192.168.0.150. And you leave that 50,000 into there. And unfortunately, it's going to connect to all these other nodes. And from the graphical user interface, it's not possible to undo this at the moment. So we're just going to run a dummy node, sorry, a dummy wallet for the moment. So click next, and next, and we're going to just okay. we're going to import a dummy wallet now. So it's asking for a seed. So let's just make one. And so the Electrum doesn't recognize BIP39. So when you have a BIP39 seed, you need to go to Options and click that. And now it's recognized that the, the checksum is correct. And we can also extend it with a custom mode. I'll just do that now, put a passphrase to show you that. So here you could just put 
anything you like. Make it a bit more complicated than that. And so it's effectively the 13th word. So you've got three different types of addresses to choose from. These are the one type addresses. These are the ones that start with three. And the last one, the native segwit, is the newer one starting with BC1Q. So we'll pick that one. This is, now this, this password is to encrypt the file on your computer. It's got nothing to do with which ad addresses are included in your wallet. It's not part of the seed. And we, we don't want to automatically update Electrum. We want to do it manually just so we don't get scammed. All right, so you can see that this empty wallet, it's green here, it's connected to a public node and it's actually connected to my node and the balance is zero. So if you click that, here it's connected to my node, but these are, all these other nodes are connected as well. And I'm not quite sure how private that is. I don't know the, uh, the, the underlying workings, but I want to avoid this. I want it to say connected to one node here. So once we've loaded this dummy wallet, close Electrum and open Terminal. And go to the Electrum configuration and wallet folder. It's a hidden folder. So right now we're in we're in the users um, an apartment or your username directory and from there type cd dot electrum and this directory has got your wallets configuration file and some other and the certificates and a few other things. And we're going to edit the config file. And at this moment, I'll just also mention that sometimes Electron does some funny things and it doesn't connect properly and you need to reinstall it. Uh, and it doesn't work because when you when you delete the program and reinstall Electron, this, this entire hidden file just remains. And the, the fix that often works is deleting this entire directory and then Re running Electrum again and creating new certificates and new config files and then sometimes that fixes the problem just be careful that your wallets are in there and so you can uh, just rename the file instead of deleting it okay so for now just let's edit the config file so you can type nano config and it opens up now, th this configuration file was created the moment we ran Electrum for the first time, so we couldn't do it before. So now that this has been pre-populated, we can change a few things. So we want auto-connect to remain as false. And we want check updates to remain false. And we want one server to be true. We only want to connect to our node. Make sure you keep the syntax there. You want to, don't want to delete that comma. And lower down, you can see earlier I've put my node details there. So once you've edited this, you press Control X Y Enter. Now we can close this and run Electrum again. Uh, this time you can put your real wallet but just before you do that just check everything's fine so let's run the dummy wallet and connect it to one node to our own node perfect so now you can restore your real wallet and get your balance checked from your own node and that's it